Hey there! Welcome back to another video in the series of Woodworking for Beginners. Today I am talking all about miter saws. A couple of weeks ago I showed you all the woodworking tools a beginner needs and if you caught that video you know that a miter saw is one of my favorite saws. It was the first power tool I got and it was the only saw I had for a long time. So today I am going to show you everything you need to know about using a miter saw. Now before we get started, I have a bunch of new videos coming to you soon about how to use all kinds of power tools. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's talk about miter saws. So first things first, what is a miter saw? A miter saw is a saw that can cut across a board. So it can cut across the board at a 90 degree angle, at a 45 degree angle, and a bunch of other angles that we will get to in a few minutes. But what it cannot do is rip a board. That is, it cannot go across the board like this. It's just not safe. Now let's take a closer look at the miter saw and all of its parts. There is a blade and a guard. The guard protects the blade, of course, and when you lower the saw to make a cut, the guard moves up and out of the way. Next, you have a fence. The fence is where you hold your board against, and it helps you keep the board stable and steady and straight as you make your cut. Next, you have the miter gauge. It's the angle gauge on the table. It helps make angled cuts across the board. There is a lever or a knob to loosen and turn the table to set to the angle you want. Almost all saws comes with built-in angle stops to make common angles to help you. Now the bevel gauge is under or behind the blade and it helps you measure the tilt of your blade. Of course, then you have your handle and your trigger. When you operate the saw, you hold the handle and press the trigger to operate the saw. Now let's talk about the different types of miter saws. Miter saws come in different sizes and have different capabilities. And the pricing of the miter saw depends on all of those factors as well. The first thing is the miter saw blade size. That comes starting at seven and a half inches to almost 12 or 14 inches. Apart from that, you have a few other options for the miter saw itself. You can get a single bevel saw, which means that the blade tilts in only one direction, which is what I have. Or you can get a double bevel compound saw, which means that the blade tilts in both directions. You can also get a sliding compound miter saw, which means that the blade slides out, giving you the capability to cut wider boards. So let's talk about the different types of cuts. The first cut is a cross cut, which is basically a simple 90 degree cut across the board. The next type of cut is an, a miter cut, which is basically an angled cut across the board. For example, a 45 degree is a very common angle cut. Next is a bevel cut, which is basically an angled cut across the thickness of the board. This is achieved by tilting the saw blade using the bevel gauge. Then you have the compound cut, which is basically a combination of the miter and the bevel cut. Now that you know all about the parts of the miter saw and all the different kinds of cuts, it's time to show you how to use it. But before that, let's talk about safety. Like with any power tool, be sure to read the manual and follow all the safety instructions. Specifically, you want eye protection, hearing protection, and dust protection. Also, make sure you don't have any loose clothing or hair or jewelry and keep your hands at least six inches away from the blade of the miter saw. There is one more thing you need to understand before we actually start making cuts and that is the kerf. The kerf is a very important concept to understand so you are able to make accurate cuts using a miter saw. Now the kerf is the width of your blade or rather the part of your board that turns into sawdust when you go through it with your blade. 
So if I were to take a piece of wood and cut through it, you would end up with this. You see this thickness right here? That is the curve. So you have to account for it when you make cuts. So let's take an example. So if you have a 10 inch board, well this is not 10 inches, but let's assume this is 10 inches. If you have a 10 inch board and you wanted to make two boards of exactly five inches each, you can't do that because one of the boards would be missing the equivalent of the curve. So my saw has a curve of an eighth of an inch which means to get two equal boards of five inches each, I need to start with a board which is 10 and an eighth of an inch. I know it's a bit of a complicated concept to grasp, so if you have any questions about it or about anything else, be sure to leave it in the comments and I will definitely answer them. So finally, now let's use the miter saw. Once you measure and mark your board, you want to draw a straight line where you want to cut. Use a speed square if you need to. Then you push the workpiece against the fence and hold it with one hand away from the blade. Without pushing the trigger, lower the blade to make sure that the curve is on the other side of the piece you want to keep. Once you are satisfied with it, lift it back up. Press the trigger and wait for the saw to reach full speed. Then slowly lower the blade through the board. At the end of the cut, let go of the trigger and let the blade come to a complete stop before lifting the blade back up. Now if you are using a sliding miter saw, always bring the saw out and then cut toward the fence. And that is how you use a miter saw. But before you leave, a very, very important tip. always always cut off the ends of the boards that you get from a lumber yard. They are never square. So just cutting about an inch to a half an inch off of the ends will give you perfect boards with perfect ends to start with. And that's it. I hope you have fun using your miter saw. It is definitely one of my favorite saws. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and I will definitely answer them. If you don't have any questions, I would still love to see your comments and thumbs ups. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe because I have a bunch of videos coming out about how to use the basic woodworking tools. In the meantime, here are a bunch of projects for you to make using your miter saw.